Are you aware of the top 10 primary types of background checks? Number one on our list today is the universal background check. These are common backgrounds ran when an individual purchases a firearm from a licensed importer, a manufacturer, or a firearms dealer. Universal background checks are generally ran through the NICS, National Instant Background Check System. The NICS is overseen by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, or better known as the ATF. However, the background checks themselves are actually conducted by the FBI. With universal background checks, to the NICS, it is checking for certain types of criminal convictions, domestic violence convictions, active arrest warrants, fugitives of justice, and people in the country illegally along with some other factors that may be considered important for someone purchasing a firearm. Fingerprint background checks are used by most law enforcement agencies. The Automated Fingerprint Identification System, APHIS, was founded in 1999 and currently stores over 35 million fingerprint records. A fingerprint background is often used along with other types of background checks such as pre-employment screening. Generally speaking, a fingerprint background is going to be required for almost every government job to include police officers or other law enforcement officers, firemen, airport employees, and hospitals, things like that. If you are a licensed private investigator, you probably had to have a fingerprint background conducted when you got your license. Many professional licenses require a fingerprint background check to be conducted. This video is sponsored by OREP Insurance and Working PI Magazine. OREP is a leading provider of private investigator liability insurance. Visit OREP.org for a quote today. Next, let's look at OIG, Office of the Inspector General Background Check. These are mandated by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and include a list of excluded individuals and entities often referred to as the sanctions list, which prevents people who have committed crimes related to the healthcare industry from working within that industry. Many times an employer will run an OIG background check prior to hiring somebody, especially if they are health care industry related job. Here is top secret number one for the day folks. You can run an OIG background check yourself for anyone for free. Now with OIG background checks you have to do a little investigative work yourself. In the OIG search it just asks for the first name and the last name. From there it gives you a list of potential matches. In the list you can click the verify button for any of the subjects listed and it will bring up another screen with other pertinent information such as date of birth, where and when they practiced, and a box where you can type in a social security number to verify if it is your person. International background checks are number four on our list of 10 background checks. Usually people who need an international background check ran on someone is when they are hiring someone to fulfill an international position or someone who has been working internationally. International background checks can uncover information such as criminal records, education history, and employment verification. Now, I don't have to run these very often, but when I do, I have found that utilizing a professional background company is the best way to go. Now moving along to e-verify background checks. These are conducted usually by employers to verify the identity as well as the employment eligibility for new hires. 22 states require an e-verify be conducted for certain specific public and private employers. However, e-verify is a voluntary background for most employers. Credit background checks come in at number six on our list of 10 background check types. It is a record of a person's credit information and gives a picture of how an individual has managed their credit as well certain bill payments in their life. Credit reports give insight to payment histories, tax liens, judgments, bankruptcies, bills and other debts in collection, recent credit inquiries, and other pieces of vital information. Credit reports are usually ran when someone is purchasing something of value, such as a car or a home through credit, or obtaining a credit card. Some employers require a credit report on certain types of employees prior to hiring them as well. Credit reports have many restrictions, especially when it comes to FCRA, the Fair Credit Reporting Act, which lays out specific requirements of how these can be ran. Personal background checks or simple background checks people will have ran on themselves to see what potential employers, credit companies, places like that might get if they run a background check on them. Professional license background checks are often required for pre-employment screenings as well. These are conducted to verify an applicant possesses valid licensing and permitting as well to check the status of their license and any disciplinary actions taken on that license. Typically, a professional license can be verified by contacting your state's licensing authority. Next is criminal background checks. 
They are very common for private investigators to run them for their clients. Not only are they common, they are complex as well. Here is top secret number two when it comes to running criminal or any background checks. There is no such thing as a national database accessible to PIs. Sure, there are data companies that say they have information from all 50 states, but what does that really mean? Well, what it means, folks, is that they have some data from some entities in most states. They may have information from a single county or a single city in a state, or they might have state police records in three counties and six cities in the state, but none of the data companies have every town, every city, every county, every court, and all of the records for all 50 states. In doing a thorough criminal background check, you need to check with every city, county, and state where the individual has lived or worked to include county court records, municipal court records, sex offender registries, as well as domestic watch list, and check for federal and state crimes as well. Now, most times, a private investigator will run a comp report on a database and use that as a starting point to find out where the subject has lived and worked in the past, as well to find potential criminal history that needs to be verified off of those reports. Top secret number three, comp reports are not all inclusive. They are comprehensive in the fact that they have a lot of data in them, but not necessarily everything on your subject. And here's top secret number four, these comp reports are not for public dissemination. You should not run a comp report, add your company name to the top, and hand it over to your client. How in-depth and detailed your criminal background check gets is usually going to be determined by your customer's budget. One of the most common types of background checks you may do besides a criminal background check is employment or pre-employment backgrounds. While this may be one of the most common types of background checks, it can also be one of those that can cause the most difficulties. Your comprehensive pre-employment background should include most of the elements that we have discussed up to this point. Typically, you will need the individual's first and last name, date of birth, current and past addresses, and social security number. I also require my clients to have an ROI, a release of information form, filled out by the applicant or the employee for these types of backgrounds. A comprehensive pre-employment report and screening may include things such as credit history for specific job types, work history, driving record, criminal history, international background as needed, drug screening, education verification, professional license checks, and a social media investigation. Here are just some of the many caveats to running a pre-employment background check. It is illegal to run an employment background check based on an employee's race, national origin, color, sex, religion, disability, genetic information, or age. FCRA also requires employers to comply with certain regulations such as they must have written permission and they must provide any negative information found that is used in the hiring decision. Employment background checks are very complicated and often done incorrectly. Not only do you risk legal action against your client if done improperly, you risk your own livelihood as a professional private investigator if done incorrectly. Bonus background check number 11 and 12 are volunteer background checks and rental or tenant background checks. Volunteers are treated exactly the same as employees when it comes to FCRA and background requirements. Tenant and rental backgrounds are also much the same. They carry pretty much the same restrictions as employment backgrounds. Here is top secret number five for the day. Many background checks are regulated by FCRA rules and they limit what information can be provided, how far back you can report information, including criminal history, and many other restrictive measures.